Bird song. Um, tell me a little bit of time. It's a uh, new, new program for you coming in for James Madison. Uh, tell me a little bit about the differences already that you're seeing between there and here at Marshall and, and what's been the, the learning curve for you trying to get up to speed. Um, I'd say the learning curve, you know, is just learning a new system again. It's my fourth one. It's a different one. So that's probably the biggest learning curve because, like I said, I've been playing college football. I know what it's like. Um, the biggest difference, um, probably just the the guys, you know, the size of the linemen, the size of the D-linemen, and the speed of the skill players. But other than that, relatively the same thing. The guys you're working with, uh, a lot of the new guys coming in, much like yourself, first year in the program, but you've got two really prolific receivers that are standing out above everybody else, and that's Foster and Green. Tell me a little bit about those two guys when you have them in the slot, and, and what do they bring to this offense post-Tommy Shuler? Um, I they bring a Tommy Schuler look alike pretty much. You know, they know how to get open. They're both quick, um, fast. They can get open. They both got great hands, and they're very young too. You know, they got a year to watch Tommy Schuler, one of the best, do it and get in there. And you know, hopefully get a little plenty of time as well. But that's probably their biggest benefit, being able to watch Tommy. And that's gonna be huge for whoever takes this program over after Data. Same thing for you is as you you have a year you have to sit out this year after the transfer, but you get a year to to walk and kind of watch behind Cato, how much does that help you be a benefactor of when he leaves next year, of being able to step in and possibly take that starting position? Uh, you know, that's huge, you know, being able to sit out a year. First of all, for me, you know, I can work on my game, work on the mistakes I used to make, you know, my freshman and sophomore year. And then, like you said, I get to watch Cato, one of the best to do it on the field in this offense. So, yeah, it'll be huge. Today, the pads go on on the, on the tops, and it obviously changes the, the, the aspect of the game. Uh, you're making more contact, having to adjust to the equipment, but especially for the receivers, having to run in true defense today. And you made a great cat or throw that your check pulled down in the, in the seam. Tell me a little bit about that play and, and how quick you was able to get rid of the ball and get that read. Um, you know, Coach Legs, great teacher. He tells us what to do, and, you know, if we follow it, It'll get the job done, just like he said. You know, that's why I just followed what he said to do, and sure enough, it worked. So today, how much did the the pace of practice picked up going into into pads, the the flow of the entire setting, as well as going into the last part of the game time setting? Um, you know, I think we've been trying. You know, you never want to say you're not going full speed. You know, the last two days without pads, but like I said, when pads get on, you know, there's everybody gets a little extra spark in them, and uh, yeah, it's definitely picked up a little bit, a little bit more pop, and uh. No, things went good out there today. And one guy that you get an opportunity, especially on Monday, Wednesdays, to throw to, Eric Fronapple, a guy that, that works with Cato on a daily basis. How much does having him out here with you help you know what's expected for those game time settings should you get to that point next season? Yeah, it's huge. You know, Eric, he's a veteran. He's been here, done that. And uh, like you said, he's, he's been playing the games. He, he knows what's going on. He knows the offense, and it's just huge to be able to work with somebody like that, especially when, you know, not really on that level yet. Uh, a guy that, that has made his presence here at practice the last couple of days in the morning session is starting center Chris Jaspers, and I noticed a couple of times he's actually trying to coach you up, watching on snaps and things to do. What, what kind of stuff is he talking to you, and, and how nice is it to have a guy that works with Cato every day out here working with you? Oh, it's awesome. You know, Chris is, Chris is a heck of a dude. He's a He's a great mentor. He's a great coach. You know, obviously he's a great coach because he's out here every morning coaching these guys up. And uh, like the stuff with me, he's helped me. You know, pick up on the blitzes, picking up on the checks. You know, when the, the young centers don't see it, you know, he helps me out and he's showing me what to do and showing me how to relay that information to the other line. So it's it's a huge help to have him out here and doing what he's doing with all these young guys and, and us. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.